Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing something a bit funny. We're going to be trying and god boosting a banana farm. So we're going to be playing on sandbox with firing range, I would say one of the biggest maps. And I'll just put my money here. Oh, oh not zero. Okay, so if you don't know what god boosting is, Basically, it's when you apply a lot of strong buffs to one tower. For example, if I were to put this boomerang here, then the engineer has a buff called Ultra Boost, where it Ultra Boosts the tower, and there's also Overclock, so there you can Ultra Boost the tower 10 times. I don't know if that's 10. Okay. So say we ultra boost him 10 times and he should attack faster than if he only had um if he was just if like he was only in normal tower so as you can see he is attacking faster it's basically like he has two boomerangs but we're gonna be doing that thing with the banana farm will the cost be worth it now it's not just a simple engineer monkey with the overclock there are a lot more buffs to this so first, let me just overclock this, and I'll quickly cut to when I get 10. And you guys, I'm back, and I'm with 10. And now what you need to do next is, usually you would be able to place an alchemist and put permanent brew, but we can't do that. So what we can do instead, however, is take down a super monkey, and we need to have $50,000 of support, and we can use banana central. Now we upgrade him and sacrifice with the sun temple and now this is is going to get into the range i think let's see so if i sacrifice it oh it didn't okay and now you can see that it has this little buff on it oh yeah we do need to overclock this guy every once in a while and now we have that buff and now we can get out villages okay we gotta make sure okay so one village will be with the bottom path, but we can't do monkeyopolis because that'll actually consume the banana farm. So what we're gonna do instead is put a monkeyopolis right here so that I don't accidentally buy it here. I'm gonna put a monkey city. And then right here, I'm gonna upload, upgrade to jungle drums and then do it all the way to more defense. And now he has a bit of buffs. And now there is a thing you can do. With the submarine, there's a buff called energizer oh sorry um wrong path um there's a thing called energizer where basically what happens every tower in the radius their abilities are cut in half i'm pretty sure yeah they're, they're cut in 20 percent everywhere so that that does mean that we can make this guy strong but we do have to upgrade him to an iron get that ability so i think we'll do that but first i think i'm pretty sure that's every buff that we can apply to a banana farm again we cannot put the alchemist but wow look at the alchemist range spike factory um so maybe we could do a little series where i god boost every tower okay So, yeah, I don't think there's any other buff that you can apply. So I think, let's just see. Let's compare profits between the god, the ultra boosted. I think it's called god boost, right? So I'll compare cost between the god boosted and the normal. So let's set round one. And I'll just hold my finger up here. And since the range is so long, that, that's pretty cool how the range is that long. Okay. We're having a lot right now okay 181 now let's sell everything here sell 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 we also need to sell this banana farm now let's put this guy down put him to zero and put round one again so if you saw i actually did get 23 i think it's because of that monkey city buff so we're just getting 80 so 
it looks like it's just stopping at 80. So, if we calculate, 181 minus 80 equals 101. Okay, I, I think that's I think that's good profits. So, is ultra boosting, god boosting, worth it in a normal game? I say no. Probably because oh, I forgot about that. I'm gonna say no because in order to god boost in the first place, you could I guess we we could do another profit thing. Let's see what happens if we just get the villages. Since those villages were, I would say, fairly cheap to get really quickly. So that and then we don't consume it and. Let's see. Okay. I don't know if that buff's gonna do anything. Oh, oops, oops. I need to set my cash amount to zero. Let's get rid of all the blooms. And now let's start again. Okay, so we're getting 20 23. Okay, we're slowly getting more. Will we be able to get 181? Okay, it only increases by a bit. Only increases by 12 from that 80. So this this was a fun little experiment for me to try out. And um, yeah, I, I, I say it's pretty cool seeing the banana farm have that many buffs above its head. So yeah, thank you guys for, uh, thank you guys for watching. And um, tell me if there's any buffs I missed that I could do. And I'll see you later. Oh yeah, everyone, a quick side note. I thought I would quickly, before we go, um, compare the cost with the engineer. So let's put these guys here. Oh, I got to upgrade that guy. And now it's... Okay. And then we can truly see which god boosting thing is the best. Okay, that's 10. Quickly over boosting. Now let's set the round to 1. Oh, oops, 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 oops. Forgot. And now we do it. Okay, okay, we're we're making more. Okay, I think we got like 200, which is really good. So, I would say that these the ultra boost is not that cheap, but I guess overclock is cheap. So, I don't know if it's the overclock. I'm going to say it's the ultra boost. So, I would say that you should just stick with villages. Okay, he says 480 for some reason. So you just need to stick with villages and you'll be able to make lots of money. So that's it for real and I'll see you guys.